Fulvio Fantoni and Claudio Nunes, world's number one and number two bridge players respectively. They have been members of the Italian team, sponsored by Lavazza for many years, winning the European Championship seven times in a row. Since 2011, they have been playing under the Monaco team as a part of a sponsorship agreement. In 2015, they were accused of cheating during the European Championship. The Italian Bridge Federation, the European Bridge League, EBL, and the American Contract Bridge League, ACBL, conducted three separate investigations. In March 2016, the Italian Bridge Federation banned the pair from playing bridge for three years. Additionally, the Italian Bridge Federation investigated Fantoni and Nunes for using the same method to cheat against Italy in the World Championship Final in 2013. In July 2016, the European Bridge Federation banned them from EBL competitions for five years. They were also expelled from ACBL leagues and had all their master points, titles, ranks and privileges revoked. The players appealed their EBL ban to the Court of Arbitration of Sport, CAS, and in January 2018, the decision was in their favor. The Federal Appeals Court later lifted the ban on the players from Italian Bridge Federation event. In May 2015, during the Italian Bridge Championship, Nunes made a defensive play that raised suspicions. The Italian Bridge Federation considered it an extraordinary play and send it to the national sports court. Contract was six hearts. Nunes started with the ace of diamonds. Instead of playing the ace of clubs on the second trick, he continued diamonds, beating Contract three down. Nunes claimed, at that moment I experienced a mental blackout and I played automatically, without thinking. I thought that the declarer didn't have the club suite. In June 2015, the jury found no evidence of unauthorized information sharing and cleared the pair of any wrongdoing. Mike Mavius, an amateur Dutch bridge player and scientist, noticed a correlation between the orientation, vertical or horizontal, of the cards played by Fantoni and Nunes and the strength of that suite. In summary, her hypothesis was that if a card was played vertical, it indicates strength in that suite, and if a card was played horizontal, it indicates weakness in that suite. In 2015, Mavius sent the evidence to Boe Brogeland, the World Beat Championship from Norway. Meanwhile, you can watch Boe Brogeland's story in my previous video. Mavius decided to give Fantoni an ultimatum to confess before publishing the findings, but no confession was made. Due to the public allegations against Fantoni and Nunes, the Monaco Beach Federation decided to withdraw from the World Bridge Championship scheduled for that year. In 2021, an unprecedented incident occurred at the Bridge Championship. Countries that saw Fantoni in the Italian team, including Turkey, refused to play against Italy and boycotted Fantoni. As a result, Italy won all the matches by default and finished the tournament in third place. Now let's move on to the trials. In 2018, Fantoni and Nunes' appeal to the Court of Arbitration of Sport casts resulted in a decision in their favor. According to the decision, the majority of the panel concluded that the exchange of information through the court had not been proven to its satisfaction and it confirmed the appeals filed by the players. This finding does not mean the players are innocent of any wrongdoing. It means that the EBL failed to prove to the satisfaction of the majority of the panel that the players violated the EBL. Rules. Following the cast decision, the Federal Appeals Court and the Italian Bridge Federation lifted the players' sanctions. Sanctions imposed by the ECBL remained, while the others were all lifted. Is it possible that Alfredo Versace and Lorenzo Lauria, who played alongside Fantoni and Nunes for years and achieved numerous successes, were unaware of their fairy tale performances? 
Pierre Zimmerman, the sponsor who brought together the world's best bridge players in the Monaco team, disbanded the team after these events and formed one of the best teams again in the Swiss team with one Dutch and the Polish pair. Swiss team won World Beach Championship Cup in 2022.